Well, howdy, folks. I'm back, and I am uh, imaging Barnhard 143 or B143. It's the E Nebula. It's a dark, dusty area in Aquila, and this is the first time I'm using my Cirrus mount in a very long time. I'm back inside for a variety of reasons inside my astronomy shed using my cirrus mount and i'm getting everything set up actually i'm a chemistry teacher as i alluding to before and i uh i'm back in school so i don't have a i gotta hurry up and get set up and take down and the astronomy shed is real easy for imaging because i just have to run out turn it on and go to it anyways one issue I had, and I think I alluded this in a, no, a previous video, is I for doing my PhD to guiding, I exposure started. Found out I had for some reason the uh, the it wasn't doing the pulse guiding, so I I had to put my old phone cord, that ST4 phone cord thing, back in. But it seems to be guiding fine with that thing in there. Uh, I'll try to re-download the drivers. Maybe that'll. Maybe that was. A, maybe that's a problem. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Whatever. <laughs> the fun of astrophotography. Anyways, things seem to be going pretty well uh, so far. Guiding's doing pretty good. And in about 38 seconds or so, we'll see what type of uh, image I come up with. I'm imaging red right now. It's actually unexpectedly clear right now so I decided to take advantage of it. It wasn't supposed to be clear uh, tonight but it is so as I said with the astronomy shot I can just run out here and fire it up pretty quickly. Exposure finished. Okay there exposure it is. Exposure started. You really can't see too much of this uh, in one exposure. It's a 60 second exposure but it's the outlines right here and it's uh, dark nebula. I have some really good images from the previous night when I was using I was doing luminosity. Anyways, that's all for now. Well, hi folks. I'm back and this is how my final image turned out. This is the RGB data. Before I get started on the data, let me just tell you I bought a new EQ mod direct cable and hopefully that'll take care of those guiding issues that I was having. And uh, hopefully that EQ mod cable will take care of some of the other goofy problems I've been having too, uh, such as I really can't do an automatic meridian flip with this mount, but it works fine with my Atlas mount, or at least most of the time. And I have some other minor glitches, and I, I'm thinking the EQ mod direct cable is going to take care of that. Anyways, getting back to my image here, as I said, this is the RGB image, and I like the stars, especially how they came out on this image. Here's what happened when I combined it with the nebula with the luminosity? Again, it made the the dark nebula. I think brought that out more. So I like what it did there. What I don't like is what it did with the stars. It it bloated them a little bit. It made them brighter, but it bloated them. So what I did was I combined it with the RGB stars and wound up with this. And the way I did it, I I called up or contacted one of my astrobin friends, Gary Hine, who kindly gave me his process. And basically what you do is you go into pixel math and you combine the RGB portion. You make that as your base layer and then you can just uh, make a mask, a star mask out of that and then combine the LRGB image to that. And that's how I did it. I will do a tutorial on that when I get better at it or the next time I do something like that. I also did it uh, something similar when I did my HA RGB image of the Cocoon Nebula. I was going to do this big long tutorial on that, but I decided against that. Uh, I, I'm not great with PixInsight. So I do a lot of hunting and pecking with it and a lot of trial and error and I go back and forth. So I would recommend 
using somebody like Astro Dude who knows Pix Insight a lot better than I do. Yeah, let me show you. Um, here, this is my flow diagram that I, I made for the Cocoon Nebula when I did it. As I said, this is one of the hardest images I ever processed before. And I will provide a link to this uh, this little flow diagram. It took me a while to develop this. I guess uh, there was a lot of going back and forth, up and down and all around, uh, trying to process it. So, it, you know, this is the result of it. Anyways, uh, that's all I have for you, folks. And we'll see you later. <laughs>